Well, what do you think it is this time? It's different to last time. Well, that's a tease, you can't see anything. There you go. So my feet are ready. Okay, I'll take them downstairs and try them out. Now I've got to change the filament for the rest of the spider bot. Well, that looks right. We'll have to go and try it out. Hi, guys. This is my old spider bot project. Two spider bots, and then controlled independently by radio control so we can actually turn it. Now, on the original, I just held it together, or held the two together with uh, plastic rulers hot glued in place. So obviously, now that I have a 3D printer, I thought I should be able to replace this cross brace with a 3D printed part. And that should look a bit neater. So, I need to... Get the cross brace off. As you see this one's broken anyway. And then clear off the remaining hot glue. And this should fit straight in place. Oh, with a good hard push. Yes. There we are. Just lost one of my feet that I printed. They are a little bit looser than intended, so I will reprint the feet. But that's good. That's it. That's in place. Excellent. I'll do the other one and then we'll give it a try. But not just now, because it's breakfast time and I've got to make Nanny's breakfast. So, back in a few minutes. Right, just so we can test it. I've put a battery on it. I've put two ESCs on it. I've put a receiver on it. Clipped it all together. I've bound it to this transmitter. And I've used one of the existing mixes on here. Which is actually set up for a flying wing. Now, it actually is the wrong way round for that. So left and right on there gives us forwards and backwards on there. And forwards and backwards gives us the left and right turn. You will see what I mean. Oh. Yeah. 
So that's either forwards or, or backwards, depending on which way I put eyes on it. And then if I go that way, we're turning. I'm overpowering it a bit there. I'm sure I ran it on a 2S before and I've got a 3S on there at the moment. And I wasn't using a mix, I was just using left and right sticks to control it before, so this is all a little bit different. But it works. So what I think I may do is, now that I've 3D printed the bottom piece, and that works fine. I might 3D print something to go on the top to hold the battery and receiver and ESCs neat and tidy up the middle. So that'll do for today. That's success. The feet are okay, although they're a little bit loose on there, so I'm reprinting some that'll be a bit tighter. And the uh, the white piece across the bottom, the base there, that fits perfectly. I'm really pleased with that. So that'll do for now. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.